good day when it comes to bible and science i always remind my listeners and also my readers that only facts well established facts of science can be used to test the bible i mean for empirical testing if they want to test it yet people keep on using theories to test the bible and when there is a conflict between theory and bible they immediately pronounce that there is a, a scientific error in the bible that is false a theory is something that doesn't have a permanent existence it is actually an intermediate stage in the growth of science it is both intermediate and a necessary stage but a theory in itself represents only an intermediate stage and one has to wait for the theory to become a fact before it can be used most of the theories they are either modified or completely rejected within say 100 to 150 years uh, 100 is probably uh, a better figure in fact when it comes to most modern theories some of them sort of uh, exist only for 10 years and they are rejected by that time uh say for example uh, the quark theories of uh, atom most of them are um, rejected in 10 to 20 years so first of all there should be no attempt to reconcile theory and the bible today i would like to mention one of these theories which many try to reconcile with the bible and the theory uh says that uh, sun was a massive star and another very massive star passed by and because of the gravitational attraction some fluid or gas came out of sun and it gradually cooled to become liquid and then it gradually cooled further to become solid and that is the earth this is usually known as the daughter theory because uh, the earth is supposed to have come out of sun but i keep on reminding wherever people ask me how i would reconcile this theory with the bible i always tell them that since it is a theory it is not to be reconciled with the bible rather we have to wait till uh, we know more about this theory as to whether it is a fact or a mere hypothesis yesterday i was reading a report from the carnegie institute carnegie institute was established about 110 years for cutting edge research in science and recently one of their researches which was funded by national science foundation and also by nasa um after much research they have come to this conclusion that water on the earth is much older than the presumed age of sun now what happened look at it if the earth has come out of sun then naturally the earth and everything on the earth should be younger than sun the presumed age of sun but here the latest research shows that water on the earth is older than the presumed age of sun which means that the earth could not have come out of sun so there goes another theory i want to remind my young listeners that there should be no attempt on the part of any christian or christian apologist to reconcile mere theories of science with the bible because a theory doesn't have a permanent existence no theory can ever be presented as a, an evidence in a court of law and therefore there should be no attempt at the part of christians to reconcile theories with the bible and here is another theory uh, that has been rejected once again uh, demonstrating my contention that we should never try to reconcile any theory with the bible god bless you we will come back with more of such questions in our next lecture god bless you